Yo, what's up guys? This is Midnight Wabbit, and I just real quick want to apologize to you guys for not being here over the uh, past week or so. Actually, it's been about, it's been, I think it's been like exactly a week. I don't think I uploaded since last Monday, and I've been meaning to, and I just haven't had a chance because the past week was probably the uh, most stressful week for me for the rest of the year. So, um, I had a lot of deadlines and stuff. I had a lot of like due dates for things. It was just, all, it was all last week, and it was just really stressful for me, so I didn't really have a chance to, uh, to make any videos because anytime I had I just kind of wanted to relax because I had to pretty much the next day I had to jump right back into it so anytime at the end of the day I had to relax I kind of I took when I could get it but um basically I know some, I'm going to be continuing with the uh, legendary weapons guides and stuff and I will be doing that I'm probably going to be uploading maybe like one to two videos a week for the next week or two because of the fact that Ultimate Vault Hunter mode has been announced for Borderlands as a pre-sequel and it will be coming out on Tuesday, December 16th for all platforms. I think it comes out like the 11th for Xbox 360 or something, I'm not sure, but either way, by December 16th it'll be available for all platforms. So I'll be doing, I'm probably doing like a live playthrough of Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. Um, level cap has been raised to 60. Uh, so you get 10 extra levels now, and you get to play through the thing again. You, it will be available to any player who's completed True Vault Hunter mode on all, all of the missions and has reached level 50. Uh, let's see. i got to pull this up here. Uh, I have some Elemental weapons will now be more effective, and as will gear with elemental resistance. Enemies are now more likely to drop ammo, plus enemies in chests will give you better gear than other playthroughs. Regular enemies receive a 1.5 times health multiplier and a 1.5 times shield multiplier, and badass enemies receive a 2.5 times health multiplier and a 3.5 times shield multiplier. So, uh, Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, I think they're adding a new Slaughter Dome area. What is it called? It said it here somewhere. I'm trying to, kind of try to find it now. Um, Holodome Onslaught is what it's called. Ultimate Vault Hunter Upgrade Pack Holodome Onslaught. Be available on December 16th in North America and December 17th internationally. So also it adds, yeah, it adds a new challenge area, adds new enemies. So I don't know if that means maybe it's possible they're adding loot midgets. Who knows? Something like that. New, it just says new enemies, which doesn't. I don't think that means like that doesn't mean like different names for the same enemies, like super badass instead of badass for certain things. Like that. That means uh, new act, like actual all new enemies, new weapons. Um, I don't know if that means we're going to be seeing pearlescence. Now, uh, if there's actually if there's going to be pearlescent weapons now, then that'd be pretty cool. Uh, if so, I'll definitely be doing a pearlescent weapons guide and stuff like that. Uh, new class mods and new customization options. So new class mods. I don't know if that means there's more legendary class, like more celestial class mods, just like they had to let the new Digistruct Peak legendary class mods in uh, Borderlands 2. And um, I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but that's really all the only information we have at this moment. So I really don't know too much about the Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, but I'm probably going to be doing a playthrough of it with one of my friends, most likely. I'm not sure. We gotta, we gotta, I got to figure that out. Um, uh, Legendary Weapons guys will be continuing. Uh, some of the drops you guys may be seeing will probably be level 50 because um, uh, I still have several drops recorded at level 50. So they want me not. So once Ultimate Vault Hunter mode is released, they may not be ma the max stat versions of these guns, uh, unfortunately. So I do apologize for that. But I mean, the way to get these guns is still the same. And uh, the Ultimate Vault Hunter mode update is a pretty big update. So who knows? It's it's possible they may fix the uh, non-respawnable uh, mini bosses glitch and stuff. So you may be able to all the, make, you may make the, all the legendaries and stuff farmable again, which would be really great because uh, it's a pretty big update and adding some stuff. Uh, it's like some bug fixes as well in the update, so I don't know if that's going to be there, because I know they, they did say they were going to fix that at some point, but it doesn't specifically say what the bug fixes are for the update, so I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, um, what I want to do real quick, well not real quick, I want to do over the past, the next week or so, because it's uh, about a week from tomorrow, I believe, is when the, it was released for all platforms, and I want to have all of my level 50 character uh, skill tree builds out by then, um, I want to, I, I already have all the characters at level 50, and I've had it for several weeks now, all the characters at level 50 except uh, Handsome Jack, so, which I, uh, I think he's like level 38 or something like that, so I probably get him to level 50 this weekend or something like that, and then do, I'm going to try to do one uh, of these, uh, trying to do one of the, um, I just lost the, all the words I was trying to say, <laughs> trying to do at least one.
of those things per day because I think there's like uh, I have one more. I have two different Athena builds. I already, you guys already saw my uh, when I call the Elemental Empress build, which is what I call it. My like does a ton of elemental damage and stuff. It's a really good build and. Uh, I had some footage of me soloing the raid boss. You can see right here. Uh, this isn't this isn't that build, but I, I had some footage of me soloing the raid boss with that build. I did quite a bit of damage uh, with the shock version of the shock and the fire version of the thorny old Rosie. And um, so yeah, I have uh, some really good level 50 builds for all the characters. Athena, I have two builds. I have that one, and I also have a melee build for Athena, which I'm going to be showing you guys tomorrow. I'll be showing you guys that melee build. It's a very very good melee build. For, you, for those of you guys out there who like doing melee stuff in Borderlands, it's, it's really, really fun uh, to use, and it's very effective as far as melee goes. I'm not sure how effective it'll actually be in Ultimate Vault Hunter modes, we'll have to see, but uh, I'm going to show you guys my level 50 saves, or not, my level 50 uh, skill tree build, so that way you guys can have a good setup going into Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, so like when Ultimate Vault Hunter mode comes out, you guys can have, you will have a good setup um, you know, you'll have a good skill tree setup and you have a, a strong character build going into Ultimate Vault Hunter mode so you can just uh, try to power through it and stuff. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. I just want to kind of look a little bit of an update video. I'll be uploading, like I said, that uh, uh, the Melee Athena build tomorrow. And then uh, with like some recommended gear and stuff. For all these builds, I'll be having like some recommended gear that makes it better and stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah. You guys can vote either on this video or on the next one tomorrow on the Melee Athena build. What character you build you want to see next? Because I can I have all of them except for the Handsome Jack one, which I'll I'll probably have done by this weekend by the end of this weekend. So Handsome Jack will probably be the last one I do. But any of the other uh, characters like Nisha, Wilhelm, or Claptrap, if you guys have have a preference of which character you want to see uh, the build on first, if not, then I'll just I'll just uh, gonna go in order. Uh, so I guess the next one will probably just be the order that I got them. To level 50, and so the next one I guess will just be Nisha. Uh, unless you guys uh, want a different character like Wilhelm or Claptrap, I'd be fine with that. But anyway, be sure to let me know, guys, what you do want to see. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. Leave a like if you did. Please subscribe for more Borderlands content. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Peace.